strong. Welcome back to my channel. It's another day. It's Friday. A little gray out. I've got things I gotta do. Um, and I uh, went out for breakfast with my mother-in-law. I remote started the car. I had opened the passenger door, had her sit in there, and uh, then the engine shut off. And although the car runs, I have this. Oh, brother. So I'm going to head on down to the dealership, have them read the code, find out what the heck's going on. Pretty good dealership here, but I just uh, I just didn't want to spend the day. So many things that it could be. But I'm going to find out. Drive easy. I don't have very far to go to get to the dealership. All right, see you in a little bit. So, um, yeah, I was in and out here in 30 minutes. He said it's a short rudder valve. Um, oh, there goes my GPS is going to start talking here. During parking mode. Mechanic was great. He talked to me real briefly. He said it's not going to be a concern. Be driving it. Apparently on the intake manifold, there's a little valve that moves around a little bit. Starts with square. To emulate like a high-rise manifold as if it was like in the you know the old style cars for performance wise and it said that it's sluggish a little bit he just read the code he did flash it um, but uh, yeah he ordered a new uh, I guess they gotta take the manifold off so um, Monday or Tuesday next week and uh, he's gonna do the work so that's pretty good I asked him about the ticking. He said, no, that's nothing to worry about. You should be fine. Um, so, cool. Well, it's good. I don't have to worry about anything. I got a little in check engine light and uh, just take it easy. I should be fine. So I'm just really grateful that they were able to take a quick look at it and not make me wait. I think they wanted, they expected me to fix it. Right? You know, I said, no, I don't, I understand if you're going to order something, but I want to at least get the order in, you know? So that worked out real well. These guys are great. I'm over here at um, Leith over in Wendell, which is um, who the guys from the club uh, mentioned, uh, recommended I go to. So I didn't have much luck with them in the past. When I had my 2010, they were uh, like okay, but uh, lately they've been really good. So I'm very happy with them now. And I would have bought this car there, as you know, I, I came by here a few times, but they, they just didn't have any scat packs. All right, see you in a little bit. Line here. 429 dollars for the S10, brand new. No trading. So the closer you get to like that, that's uh, really, really. All right, really guys, good. what a day, man. Um, watching tall guy reviews here in the kitchen. But I went to the dealership. They um, took a look at my um, my code. And they, they ordered something, some sort of intake manifold valve or something. It's a P1004 code. I looked it up and um, I saw, I can't remember what it was, but I don't know. They're going to order something and do the job on Monday, I guess. <clears throat> Hopefully it's it's there. Um, I went into Costco to get, an, get my new phone. I did a pre-order. I got the S10. Do -do -do -do. And uh, so I, God, it was a long line. 429 
uh, for a new phone. So yeah, it was crazy. And um, I got tired of waiting. I go, just give me the phone. I'll sync it when I get home. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do this myself. Hopefully, uh, using this uh, Samsung Smart Switch. Anyway, um, met somebody in the parking lot uh, in a uh, B5 Blue Challenger, and he's looking at my louvers, and I think he wants to get a set. <laughs> So anyway, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting when you get these uh, challengers, other um, people kind of gravitate to you. But anyway, uh, let me get this sink going here and, uh, and we'll go on with the day. See you in a minute. She wants to say hi to YouTubers. Actually, she just she's just looking at the string right here. This is what she's looking at. This is the little um, rubberized case that's got the little strap that you can just put around your neck. See, put this around my neck so I can always have my uh, camera with me. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I don't know how long this is going to take to sync. But man, there was a long line. The guy was trying to sync a bunch of phones all at the same time. I was like, I don't think so. Just give me a damn phone. Let me get out of here. So let's we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I'll be able to figure this out. Wow. See so I am on vacation. I got the Challenger back. It was a minor fix. They did not have to change the whole intake manifold. They just changed like some actuator valve that adjust those runners i guess the runners are to adjust the intake air uh, you've got long tubes and short tubes and it just goes back and forth i guess uh, when you go full throttle i guess it opens everything up <clears throat> it's probably for fuel economy i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure <laughs> all as i know it was under warranty i got it fixed so uh wow great day another beautiful blue sky carolina day Mm -mm -mm -mm. Start with a cold start. Like my, they like my red key fob. They said I saved a lot of money. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, talk dirty to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, gonna meet a friend. Gonna go down to a go to get down to a range. Anyway, uh, I got my drone in the car. I don't know if I can do this myself. I've seen other people do it by themselves. I want to try and um, have the drone follow my car, that sort of thing. Problem is we got uh, tall trees everywhere around here. I'd like to find a spot maybe where I can, where I can have it uh, follow the car and uh, not run into a tree. I have this thing called DJI Refresh and I've had to use it once already when my drone went for a swim. It, uh, it, uh, yeah, I was stupid. Had it in sport mode, went full throttle and reversed into a tree, fell into a river. Got the got the drone back though, amazing enough. Uh, anyway, so coming to the end of No Shave November. <laughs> Remember to get yourself checked out, guys. My wife keeps hounding me on it. Um, I didn't remember about this until halfway through the month, so, well, a week or so ago, stop shaving. I like not having to shave. Anyway, uh, so another great day. So it removes the challenger off the front. No front plate. See the ticking stops. It takes a minute. I don't know, do I have to use that oil? I like the mobile one so much better. My last challenger, that's what I ran. This is one of the things I always forget to hit this button here. Now the, uh, Mode. Things gonna start talking to me. Detection recording. Over ten and event detection recording. Sunroof occurred. Yeah, baby. I do like the sunroof. My last challenger, I didn't have it, but my my hair is top here. That kind of bothers me a little bit. I got the seat as far down. As it goes, but it doesn't seem like it's down. It seems like it's up. I'd like to check this out. Blue skies. Today's call for blue skies. 
Anyway, um, got the drone in the trunk. Got I gotta open the sunroof. Leaves are falling in my car now. Um, got the drone in the trunk. I want to see if I can get some video of this thing following my car. But we got a lot of tall trees here, so I gotta find the right spot because I don't want that thing to crash into a tree. Um, yeah, come up to the end of No Shave November. I forgot about it. Just started it a week or week or so ago. I don't know, I kinda wish that I should let this grow in a little bit more. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, so anyway, yeah, another day. Another day in paradise. Oh, this is so good. I get don't have to be at work for like two weeks. Yeah, buddy. Anyway, I got some stuff I want to do on the car. I have to move that rear camera down a little bit so that it uh, shows up better uh, out the back window because of the louvers. I like it like with, as high up top as possible, but uh, I think I'm going to have to move it down a little bit because that top louver doesn't have much room. Also, I need to put some uh, anti-vibration rubber in there as well because it does vibrate a little bit. So, um, these are the Icon louvers. Get a lot of compliment on them. These things are cheap as all get out. Eco mode. Um, yeah. Let's see what I get for fuel economy. I got a little bit of a drive here meeting a friend of mine. Anyway, um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions about this scat pack, you know, I I got the car. I don't think I went into full detail of all the options I got in this thing. Uh, is it something that you guys want to want to hear about? All the options, what I like for options, what I think are not needed. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that white Hellcat that I test drove did not have the sunroof, so you have a lot more headroom. So if you're like going to go to the drag strip or whatever like you buy a 1320 don't buy a sunroof that'd be stupid because you're not going to be able to have enough headroom with the with the um helmet unless you want to drive like this <laughs> shout out to tall guy right <laughs> when he gets in a corvette um anyway so um yeah great day and uh see you hey, so just a reminder guys this um no shave november thing it's a reminder for guys to get checked out you know and my car getting the check engine light reminded me that you know I hadn't gotten a regular physical for about a year now and my wife's got on my case about it it means I gotta get the old finger up the butt <laughs> not something anybody's looking forward to um, but yeah you know I had a heart attack uh, back in 2009 and a lot of the symptoms aren't like you hear, you know, oh, good chest pains and this and that. But uh, mine were a little bit different. I'll go into that later on a separate video. But in all seriousness, guys, um, you know, uh, I mean, you got to get checked out. I got, I had a physical uh, and I passed it with flying colors a week before, a week before I had my heart attack. And they even did an EKG. So the way uh, this stuff happens, it's, um, you know, you never know when a little piece of plaque's going to break off. But anyway, I'll go into that later. I'm going to tell you that whole story. It's, uh, it was kind of a scary experience. Um, kind of a long time ago. but And I'm overweight, as you guys know. But I'm going to the gym trying to lose that weight. Moving on. But uh, take care of yourselves, guys. See you in a bit. Wow, look at that, guys. 23.2 MPG. I've never seen that on this car. I'm wondering if the, uh, those runners being stuck open or closed or whatever was why I was getting kind of crappy gas mileage. Look at that. 23 and a half. I mean, I'm going pretty easy, though. Uh, 70 miles an hour. Anyway, getting off the highway now, so that'll change, but... That's pretty cool. Later. Morning, guys. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Hope you're all having a wonderful time with your family and your friends. 
I'm, uh, just did the calculations for the turkey and uh, we're gonna use one of those new wave ovens Takes about 13 minutes a pound it's neat you can actually cook it from frozen but we never do so it'll be under three hours to cook a 13 pound turkey look at these leaves you know I talked I met a guy that had a shaker challenger he told me I think he doesn't like about it is getting the leaves out of the shaker which is interesting because my friend will at work <clears throat> he said the same thing he said the doggone getting the leaves out of the shaker anyway I, I have to get them out of here so the leaves go down in there and also let me know guys if uh, in the comments below if you're having issues with your uh, the trunk lift doesn't quite hold it up let me show you I open this up man it's not that cold out I'm not even wearing my jacket see this is not really barely holding the trunk up yeah I think I'm gonna have to get those replaced while it's still under warranty the guy also mentioned something about um the window regulator or the window motors if I have an issue with them to let them know because it was a safety check on them he said that they looked like they were working okay I don't know of any issue anyway starting up with a cool start Boom. Mm.